Let's start with the median sensory. The median nerve comes from the neck, the arm, forearm, wrist, and the first three fingers. The median nerve is usually involved in carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel means that the median nerve is compressed under the carpal canal at the wrist and causes numbness and tingling in the first three fingers. Patients typically complain of waking up at night with numbness and tingling and having to shake their hands to get rid of the symptoms. Carpal tunnel is usually worse in the dominant hand. That means on the right side if you're right-handed, on the left side if you're left-handed, and frequently it is bilateral. Treatment usually consists of wrist splints or steroid injections, and if the symptoms are severe and don't go away, usually surgery is indicated. So let's get started. The first nerve we're going to study is the median sensory. And uh, you see here a picture of the setup of the median nerve, which shows you where we place the electrodes, and it shows you where we actually stimulate the nerve at the wrist here. Below that, you see also some expected normal values that we would compare the potential that we get uh, from the patient and compare it to the normal values that we have on the screen here. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to introduce to you the fact that we're going to use a ruler. The ruler is going to tell us what distances we should use to stimulate the nerve. The second thing I'm going to show you is the stimulator. The stimulator is where we actually apply the stimulator to where we're stimulating the nerve right here. And the last thing I want to show you are the electrodes. So there are actually three electrodes. One is the black, which is the active electrode. The second is the red, that's the reference electrode. And the third is the green, that's the ground electrode. And we put all three electrodes in all the studies in nerve conductions that you're going to see. Finally, in order to make sure that the electricity goes from the stimulator to the skin, we're going to use some gel, which you see here. And also, in order to measure, we're going to use this ruler right here. And as you see, the ruler has holes in it to e for each nerve. And I will be putting the marker through the hole to actually mark the place where I'm going to be stimulating the nerve. So here we go. We're going to put the electrodes on the index finger right here, because that's what we do to stimulate the nerve. And the second thing we're going to do is to put the reference electrode right here and the ground electrode, which we can put either in the palm of the hand or in the back of the hand. I prefer to put it in the palm because I'm always seeing it. So here we go. I put some gel on the stimulator, and then I measure the distance where I'm going to stimulate the nerve. And here I have the zero at the black electrode point, and here it says median sensory, and I will put the marker through this to find out for sure where I'm going to stimulate the nerve. And it turns out to be right here. So now we're going to stimulate the nerve. OK. And in order to stimulate the nerve right here at the wrist, I'm going to press this orange button, which delivers the electricity. So because we're stimulating the nerve, the muscle is going to move. And you're going to see her finger twitch right here. Here we go. And I start, start increasing the intensity of the stimulus. And now you see the stimulus is really nice. And I'm going to increase it to make sure that I'm getting maximal. And I think I'm maximal right here. And as soon as I'm happy with this response, then I press the green button right here, which is going to store this potential. And now it just came up a little bit too high on the screen, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And you notice immediately that the potential that is stored turned blue. And now there are some markers that have been put. Marker number one is to where the nerve starts to getting excited here. That means it took from this point to that point for the electrical impulse that I delivered at the wrist to reach the nerve. Then that's the maximal amplitude of the nerve. That's marker two. And that's where the nerve comes back. Action potential comes back. And that's four and five and is where the nerve stopped being stimulated. So now I accept that. And in order to go to the next nerve, I press the next here. And you will see that the ulnar sensory comes. 